Hi and welcome back to the channel. My name is Priscilla. I'm a Nigerian women's wear designer based in the UK. In this video, I'm going to be sharing the process of creating an ebook or a digital product template, you know, a digital asset that you could possibly sell on your website for money. I'm going to share the full process, what platform I use, how I export the files, what plugin I use to allow people to actually purchase the product from my website and have it sent directly to their inbox after purchase. If you'd like to find out all of this information, make sure to keep on watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys like this type of content and we keep it rolling in the future. With that out of the way, let's get straight into the video. So ebooks are really popular are really great as an alternative product to sell in comparison to physical products. The good thing with ebooks is you don't have to ship anything, you don't have to go to the post office, you don't have to have any stock. You just have that file done, uploaded on your website, so when people purchase it, it goes straight to their inbox and you don't have to do any fulfillment on your side. So what kind of ebook would you like to create? Are you going to inspire people through stories? Are you going to empower people with useful information? Are you going to give them practical tools like templates and so on and so forth? It is important that you are adding value with whatever digital product you're selling. Yes, it's trendy. Yes, it's easy to create to an extent. Yes, it's something that sells itself once it's up on your website and you get the reviews in. But before you put that product out there, have a moment to really think what kind of value are you adding to people's life through that product. Please take some time out and do some research. If you take time to actually research out the people you want to reach with that product as well as the market that you're trying to get into with that product. Are your customers going to be students? Are they going to be working moms? Are, going, are they going to be young professionals? Are they going to be creatives like myself? Because knowing all of that is going to tailor the information that you put into that product a lot better. It is also going to help you decide the pricing because if you know your customer is a student that earns a particular amount of money that is on the lower spectrum, you know you won't price your product a particular way. If you also know your, your customer is someone who has a high disposable income and they know the value of what you are bringing to the table, then you can obviously price it a bit higher because the customer understands the products and the value that they are going to be getting from purchasing that product from you. After you've created that ebook, you would need to market it online. You need to sell it. It's not just creating an amazing product and not knowing how to sell it. So. Take your time out, do your research and have that saved up as a document that you can use to promote that product once it's ready. One more thing I'll mention before we get into the actual creation process is the assets that you put into your ebook, as much as possible, try and make them your own, your own pictures, your own graphs, your own graphics. You want to avoid any copyright issues the moment that product is launched because if you use someone else's picture in your ebook, Technically, that person can come and ask you for, you know, some of that money that you are making off of that product or could possibly sue you. So if you have to do a photo shoot, if you have to photograph your product, please do that or use stock footage. Basically, use assets that don't have any copyright claims on them so you don't have to think about that once you have the product out on the market for sale. So now we know the ebook we're going to create, we've researched our market, we know our value proposition, we also know or we have an idea of what we're going to be pricing the products for. But I love to use Canva because they have a free level and if, or a free plan that you can use and they have lots of templates lots and lots of templates that you can easily customize for your product okay so let's actually create an example product so let's search for ebook templates um you could either start by designing the cover or you could have a multiple template that has multiple pages and you just customize it as you go along. I also recommend that you make the cover as attractive as possible because that's the first thing that people would see. So let's just look for a nice template that we can customize here. There's so many good options. If you're someone who likes minimalist, you could go for something really simple. You could also change the colors, the backgrounds. You could change the fonts. You could change the placement of things. So I quite like this one. So let's just open it up. With Canva, you have the free plan, but I currently have the paid plan because I use Canva for my thumbnails. I use it for my eBooks. I use it for a lot of things. I have a mentorship program running and 
the new batch starts in September and the assets that I use for that mentorship program I actually create on Canva so it just made a lot of sense to get the paid one so let's customize this cover this is what the cover looks like I can go in here and edit the image if I wanted to I could also replace the image if I go to uploads and then I could basically upload any file that I wanted here and you basically just drag and drop it into this point so we have a new image if you want to resize the image you double click and you drag it out like this place it however you want it placed and we have a new image there so if I want to change the text you double click and then you just write whatever you want to write so I could say summer let's just say summer wardrobe styling I'm just making up a random product here so if you're someone who is a stylist and you want to create like an ebook showing people how to style different products or how to curate their wardrobe existing pieces in their wardrobe for a particular maybe for work or something um that's a product idea you could actually do so that has changed so basically double click change the text um uh what would i call this now skirts let's just call it skirts and then change the name to your brand name mine is kim dave and then if you want to change the the fonts you click on the text that you want to change the font and if you go to this top corner here this is where you can change all of the fonts so many different types of fonts if you also want hand like fonts that look like handwriting you can click on that and then it'll give you all the fonts that look like handwriting if you want more corporate looking fonts you click on that it takes you to more corporate looking ones basically they just kind of organize everything in a way that if you don't know the kind of font you want but you have an idea of the feel you could start from there i personally like sans um serif fonts i find them quite simple to use i use them a lot for my youtube thumbnail um titles so they're different type of fonts titles um different type of <laughs> sans fonts here so i'm just going to pick this one and you can see it's changing there so that's the cover design using a template you could also design a, a cover and a template from scratch if you just go to add page you don't have a blank page if you go to elements here you have different elements like I just scroll down 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 you have different frames that you can fill with pictures you also have different shapes you have stickers you have all kinds of things that if you're someone who has an idea of what you want your cover to look like if you want it a particular way you can actually make it custom for the actual content of the ebook this is where your research would come into play it is important like i said you add value through that product that you are creating plan out the structure of your ebook you can start off with a table of content so the table of content will be the topics or the points that you want to cover in your ebook so you should have an introduction about yourself let me just open up a like a ebook i'm currently working on which would hopefully launch in the next month or so so you guys will have an idea of what an actual um ebook looks like so this is one i'm currently working on and it's basically covering the topic of how to find paying customers once this launches i'm going to let you guys know on the community tab because this is a question i get a lot so this image here is mine but these two at the bottom are stock images from Canva and I have a title there and then a small summary of what the book is about and then this is my table of content so these are all of the topics that I'm going to be covering in this ebook it is very word heavy but I try to add graphs charts pictures basically make it as visually exciting as possible because people will most likely be reading it on their phones on their ipads also try and use fonts that are easy to read because it can look pretty it can look aesthetic but if the person cannot read it is it even useful <laughs> so try and use fonts that are clear to read also make the um scale of your text legible so the font should be readable and then the actual size of the font itself should be something that people can clearly read so this is my table of content so i'm going to be going through different topics such as what 
makes a strong brand identity um leveraging social media pricing and sales strategy those are some of the things i'm going to be covering in this ebook that i'm currently working on so after your table of content ideally you would like to add a page introducing yourself who you are what you do um what expertise and what you are bringing to the table so this is mine i briefly just talk about what i do um the experience i have and how that is going to be really helpful in the ebook that you are currently reading in this case this one is an ebook dedicated to show or share how to find paying customers so you basically just work on that you collect lots and lots of information as you can see at a glance i try to do it in such a way that is visually stimulating is broken down in such a way that the person can follow from the beginning to the end without feeling like it's just words they are reading please add graphs add chats add images so you're all done creating your ebook your template your workbook whatever digital product it is whether you are doing it on canva like i am or using any other software the next step is very very important and it is how do you save and export this file on canva if you go to the top right corner and click on share it opens up this dialogue here and if you click to the bottom you go on downloads you want to save it as a pdf file so if you call if you scroll down here you see pdf standard or pdf print i typically just use pdf standard so the file is not too big and then you want all of the pages selected so all of the pages of your ebook you want to have them all selected you click on done and then you click on download so that is going to download your ebook as a pdf file the platform I use to sell my product is Shopify and Shopify allows you to attach PDF files onto your website so people could actually buy digital products from you. In this case, this is an ebook. So once you have that PDF file saved, you go onto your website. So I'm just going to go onto my shop and show you the plugin that I use to actually attach digital files onto my website so it makes it easy for people to shop. So I'm just going to go to products and create a new product in this case so if i say add product give the product a name in this scenario is how to find paying have a title add um, a description as well in this case i'm just going to use the ai tool they have here to generate a description i'll most likely i'm most likely tailor it later on but just so you guys have an idea of what should go into you know um your product description so it generated a, a very not generic but straight to the point description for my product i'm just going to keep that for now i'll most likely go back and change that and then i'm going to scroll down and say that and untick this so it knows that it's not a physical product and it doesn't um charge people for shipping so this is Shopify. I don't know what platform you use, but on Shopify, this is how it works. I also don't want to charge tax. And then I'm going to decide on the price. So let's say I want to price it as nine, at $9.99. And then I would put it in whatever collection I want it to go. In this case, it would be in PDFs. Okay, so that is that about that. Let me put it as a draft for now. Now, the other important part is adding the PDF file that we just downloaded. So if you go to this top, corner here where it says more actions click on that and scroll to the bottom i'm able to add a digital file but that only comes up because i have a plugin called send owl i'm just mentioning only all these brands shopify send owl canva please reach out you need to sponsor me because this is this is value here so i downloaded the plugin called send owl so it's send and then owl once you have that in place it adds itself to this corner here so when i click on that it then takes me to the send our website this is where i'm actually able to upload the pdf file for that particular ebook that i just created so i'm going to add a new product and i'm going to se select that it is this one that we just created on shopify and then go on to continue and then this is going to be a digital product and then it takes me on to the page where i can actually upload the file so if i scroll down here and i click on where it says choose a file it then takes me to my back end of my computer where i have the pdf file downloaded if i click on that and i say open it then uploads onto this website here so you can see that it's been attached i like to add pdf stamp templates which is essentially when it stamps the name of 
the name and the dates that the person made that purchase onto the product file then i'll go to save and then it uploads and i have that product up on the website it sounds pretty straightforward it sounds pretty easy but there is a lot involved to get to this point which is why i say do your research take your time create it because if you've created it well a lot of the times digital products sell themselves because if it's a really good product people will leave reviews and reviews is what ideally and in most cases sells a product because people want to see that other people have used it and it works for them so my product is all done, it's been linked to the Shopify product and it is live for anyone to shop it. Because I made it a draft, you can't see it on the website but that is essentially the process of creating the product and attaching it to a Shopify product which makes it shoppable for anyone. If it's Squarespace or Wix or any other platform, it might be slightly different but in most cases there is a plugin if you search their app store you will see a plugin on there that allows you to actually attach PDF files for your ebook, which would allow people to buy it from your websites. So that was the entire process from beginning to end in terms of creation, attaching and downloading. And I hope you guys found it useful. Marketing the product is, an, is another ball game. So let me know if you guys would like me to do a video where I share sort of like marketing strategies on how to promote digital, how to promote and sell digital products on social media, especially because that is kind of like my zone of what, what would you call it my zone of genius at this moment do let me know if you have any further questions please drop them down in the comment section down below so we have a conversation on someone who is looking to follow down this path would be able to learn from the video as well as the comment section if you have any other topics that you want me to cover in this fashion business realm please let me know because in the future it's looking like that is the direction that kim dave is going i will still drop a few tutorials here and there but if i'm being entirely honest as i've become a mom making videos Videos like these just seem more practical for me to do they are not as involved as tutorial I can do it and still take care of my child be there for my family while still you know creating creating value and adding value to the lives of my caregivers around the world but if you enjoyed this video do give it a thumbs up let me know your thoughts and ideas down below and until my next one have a good morning afternoon and evening wherever you are bye